Oh, let's go see what's inside. Okay, now that I cut into the box, the safest way I know how to, let's see what's inside. Oxbow gear. I reached out to oxbowgear.com. Uh, Clayton got back to me and he gave me a smoking good deal on some new bike lights. So I ended up getting two. I bought the Voyager bike light kit. And this is what's included. So you get a battery in a nice neoprene case that'll mount to your handlebars as well as your frame if need be, or you just throw it in your backpack. You get a 2100 lumen light with GoPro mount. Comes with decent length of cord. And if you were to put it in your backpack, it comes with a little extension cord. It comes with a curved and a flat mount to stick on your helmet. You got a handlebar mount. And you have an alternative mount if you don't want to stick a GoPro mount on your helmet. You can just weave that through your webbed helmet and away you go. This kit retails for $119 US, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion for everything that you get. Um, you can also spend a little bit more and for $149, you just get one more battery. The battery is supposed to last three hours on its highest setting, which is 2100 lumens. That's a pretty good range for sure. Uh, I believe it's 10 hours on its lowest setting, so it's a pretty good range. So let's go see how these things mount up on the bike. The first thing I'm going to do is do the handlebar clamp. So I've noticed I have 35 millimeter handlebars. They're pretty large. This thing opened up all the way, won't go right in the middle. That's all right. That's about it's probably as close to the middle as I'm going to get it. Snug her up. I don't want to go too tight. Just get it so it's not going to move. There we go. And then this light clicks right in just like that. So how this battery mount goes on. Put the strap through the loop. It goes all the way around. And this all goes on. It is really snug. This has a nice weatherproof connection. You know what's on. So you got a little green light and this is also your battery level indicator it changes color uh, so when it's flashing red you know you're losing battery very shortly so i already have a pretty good light on my head so why not try two on my handlebars should be like riding daytime So one thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you don't have this accordion part strapped within the battery. You want to be able to have enough cord for if you absolutely eat her. It's not going to rip the cord out. Well, should we go see how bright these are? Okay, so here's what they look like. That's one on low. Medium and high, that's yeah, not too bad. I wouldn't want just that. So I got my other one as well. And with my Lumina 1200 on the head, it's pretty good. I'll take that, it's a big improvement to over what I was riding last winter, that's for sure. I'll be able to give her down the mountains this year with you, so. So 
So I learned a few things today. I learned that the stabilization on the GoPro really does not work at night time. That was a pretty shaky video, but that's okay. And the GoPro also really doesn't pick up how well the bike lights work. Uh, the Oxbow lights performed really good. They're nice and bright. They didn't budge on my handlebars at all. The batteries didn't move on my frame. And first impression of them is, yeah, they are very good value, uh, quality built light. Um, time will tell. I'm gonna ride them all winter long through the rain and the mud. And yeah, I'll let you know how they held up in the spring. So thanks for checking out today's video. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks.